to host the Baltimore Ravens, the two. And remember, you can get coverage of every NFL game on NFL Mobile only from Verizon. The AFC Championship game coming up. The Ravens and the Patriots with the Giants and the 49ers later today. The final four of the NFL season. We'll find out Super Bowl 46 matchup by days. And hello, friends. Jim Nance and Phil Sims here in Gillette Stadium. And, you know, I've been watching you here leading up to these teams coming onto the field. There's all kinds of excitement in the air. I can see it with you. You said nothing like being the visiting team coming out here on an occasion like this. Oh, yeah. It's nothing like being hated, Jim. So that's a good thing. It, it fires the players up. But when you think about this game, we talked to the players and coaches this week. The coaches were focused, but the players, every once in a while, we could see them drift off and they think, they go, wow, we're this close to going to the Super Bowl. So a lot of nervous people on the field is going to be exciting to watch. Hey, listen, they've met, we've seen it ourselves a number of times, and the Patriots, they lost to the Ravens two years ago in the wild card game. Baltimore has found a way to put pressure on Tom Brady. That's a key part of this game today, don't you think? Well, sure it is. When you talk about playing the, uh, the New England Patriots, how are you going to pressure Tom Brady? Because he was rested last week. We saw his performance. How will he deal with the Ravens blitz today? Can they get pressure up the middle? Most, team, most teams have not done it. Can the Baltimore Ravens find a way? And about the Ravens, their offense. People say, how can they stay up with that Patriot offense? What about Flacco and company? Well, I'm going to say this for all the people out there. You know, Joe Flacco is not playing the number two rated defense in the NFL, which he was last week. So today he will have more opportunities to make plays down the field and take advantage of a defense. I think he won't have to do it all by himself because Ray Rice, one of the best running backs in the NFL, he catches the football out of the backfield. They have to make sure they give Ray Rice at least 20 to 25 touches in this game today. Ladies and gentlemen, please rise for the singing of our national anthem performed today by the lead singer of the multi-platinum award-winning band Aerosmith. Here is Steven Tyler. What so proudly we hail at the twilight's last gleaming, whose broad stripes and bright stars through the perilous fight. Oh, the ramparts we watched were so gallant. Streaming and the rockets red as bomb bursting in air came proof through the night that our flag was still there. Oh, the toss and will defer Ravens will be receiving the kickoff to begin the AFC championship game and it's coming up in a moment here on CBS
CBS Sports welcomes you to the following presentation of the National Football League. Baltimore and New England about to begin the battle for the AFC Championship and let's go down to Steve Tasker, a veteran of five AFC Championship games. Well guys, we spoke to Tom Brady on Friday and asked him what it takes for a quarterback to throw for 5,000 yards in New England. He gave us an interesting answer. Through regular season of 16 games and a playoff game, the Patriots have had perfect conditions every week. And today is no different. No wind, no rain, no snow. So look for the Patriots continue to throw the football early and often. All right, thank you, Steve. Of course, Steve and the Bills went on to four Super Bowls, 4-1 four and in this spot. You're a veteran of playing in this spot as well, Phil Sims. The weather, again, it's been all season long like that for the Patriots, hasn't it? Yeah, it has been perfect, so it does fit their offense, just like Steve Tasker said. Thinking about this game today, especially for the Baltimore Ravens, let the nerves settle down, don't take any chances, and if it's a three and out and you punt, that might be fine. Today's game is being broadcast in Spanish. We're available using the SAP button on your television. Steven Gostowski to set it down to Zipikowski. And he will not run it out. Joe Flacco and the Ravens start at the 20, looking for his 50th win, regular season and postseason. In just four years, he's won a playoff game every one of the, his four years in the league, and second time now he's gone to this spot to the AFC title game. McKinney, a pickup just after camp started, the former Viking at left tackle, been a big presence for them. And Rice in this very position in the wild card game two years ago took the first handle off the left side, 83 yards for a touchdown as the Ravens went on to win that game, 33-14 in the 09 playoffs. But they go right back to the same play, basically, but this time, no game. Stopped by Dederick, a New England defense that forced 15 negative plays last week, and they get a stop for a no-gainer here right away. Will Fork on that front. Ninkovich was so active in the win against the Broncos last week. And Arrington shared the NFL lead with seven interceptions on the year. Ricky Williams has come in for the second play. And Rice is to the right side, wide to the right, top of your screen. On second and ten, Flacco's pass is wide of the mark. He was looking for Bolden. Tim, I think you saw something that the Ravens would like to do today. Spread the defense out. You look at this New England defense, they are big. So it's hard to run right at them. So when you have big defensive players, make them play sideline to sideline. A third and ten. Lee Evans in as the third receiver. Flacco, pressure coming from behind, has to run out of the pocket. And he has stopped after a four-yard scramble. So it is indeed a three and out for the Ravens. That was Fletcher and Anderson bringing him down. Yes, yeah, you Joe Flacco, you drop back, you look down the field. It's hard to pull the trigger sometimes on that first throw. He did have a receiver open to the outside, but he felt the pressure and did the right thing, stepping up inside of Nikovic. Sam Cook, the punter. 46.5 average, career best gross for the fine punter. That pressure coming up the middle. Was Chung moving in on him, and that's Edelman with the fair catch. Good starting position for the Patriots at the 40. 36-yard punt, and they were in on Cook. He barely got that one away. They might have to speed this process up just a little bit, Jim. You said it right. Patrick Chung close to getting in there and getting the block. Chung's done that a time or two. There was contact, the helmet on the foot, but no flag. And here comes Tom Brady right out into a shotgun formation with Woodhead flanking him. Hey, 
Tom Brady saw that it could be a blitz. Pollard to his left. Changes the protection. Brady over to Woodhead. Makes the catch, shakes a tackle, dives underneath for eight. He ducked under Jimmy Smith, picks up seven. Just before this game began, Drew Bledsoe came over, shared a word of encouragement with Tom Brady, the man who took his position away back in 01, as Bledsoe was honored before the game, honorary captain here. Second down and three, and the ball is deflected at the line of scrimmage. Now third and three coming up. One thing you want to do, so few teams have done it this year. Can you get inside pressure on Tom Brady? No pressure that time, but this is what's important. Haloti Nata sees that he's not going to get to the quarterback. When you know you're not going to get there, stop watching, read his eyes, and try to knock it down. Load up three to the left on third and three. And Brady looks for another option. Now throws it, and it is knocked away incomplete. Ed Reed in him on the play is... Deion Branch was the receiver, and Kerry Williams as well. Yeah, you know, just watch this. Look at the defense. Look at all the defenders staying so close to the line of scrimmage. They're playing the situation, and that is well done. The Patriots like a lot of short passes. Tom Brady had plenty of time, and that's a good job doing Ray Lewis. When Tom Brady moves in the pocket, have Ray Lewis mirroring and charging once he leaves that safety of those offensive linemen. Zoltan Mesco. Webb is back deep, and that'll be only the second touchback at home all season long for Mesco. Did not get the hop he was hoping for, just a net of 33. Each team three and out here at the beginning of the AFC title game. We're back, and Flacco at the last moment comes back onto the field. Tyrod Taylor, his rookie backup, had been in that huddle for the two minutes during that break, and then they shift Flacco back onto the field. What's up with that? Well, I think they were just seeing what the New England defense is going to do if they decide to put Tyrod Taylor in the game. On first down, they go Rice. And he's got early contact, picks up only one. That is now two stops by Dederick, both times that Rice carried it. Dederick was right in on him. Well, Jim, we talked to the Ravens last night, and then you watch this New England defense now. It reminds you a little bit of those Super Bowl teams. Very big in the front seven, so it's hard to run the football. Vince Wilfork, Kyle Love, and Dederick, especially if two guys on the edges that are pretty good, too. Second down and nine. And a quick throw with the catch. And it's Lee Evans for six yards. He had only four catches all regular season, had a acrobatic catch last week against the Texans for 30 yards. And here's Flacco facing third and three. Well, when you look at Joe Flacco, so much criticism from outside and even a little bit from Ed Reed. Uh, but I said to you, Jim, and many people this week, he did face the number two defense in the NFL, the Houston Texans. The Ravens believe in him. His head coach does. They say if we can get him open, he'll get him the football. Julian Edelman in on defense for New England. Will Fook on Flacco, and then he's finished off by Mark Anderson. It was Wilford who really forced the sack. Anderson gets the credit and a loss of seven. Well, he's being very careful with the football. There's no doubt about it. it the pocket, Jim, is collapsing. There are receivers open down the field. Look at the space. You can see it, but when you feel it outside, he steps up. Lee Evans to the right was wide open that time, too. Patriots defense now in the postseason. Going back to the Denver game last week. Has for seven three and outs in 15 opponent drives. Cook with no pressure this time. Edelman. Waits for it, has it at the 29. And then three Ravens converge on him at the 38. That's a 51-yard boot. Still looking for the game's first first down. Brady's turn next. NFL on CBS is sponsored by Southwest Airlines. Find our fares online only at southwest.com. Sprint. All football. No limits. Only from Sprint.
Aimed by Nissan. Innovation for today. Innovation for tomorrow. Innovation for all. Aerial coverage of today's game is provided by MetLife. From the 39, first down carry. Green Ellis. Plowing ahead for eight. Brought down by Suggs. Something you always got to be ready for. This hurry up offense. They spread you out. Gronkowski going in motion. Wow, nice, nice block on Terrence Cody. Green Ellis again. There's a first down. And at the 50. It's met by Lewis. And Kerry Williams picks up three. You know, when you talk about this New England offense, all they talked to us about, Jim, was let's don't let Terrell Suggs ruin the game for our offense. So make sure they got him blocked. Every once in a while, you'll see somebody come out of the backfield or a tight end chipping. If they give Tom Brady time, they believe he'll find the open guy down the field. Chains are moved for the first time right at the 50. Snap back Brady. Oh, complete. Branch. Cut back for another first at the Baltimore 39. Spun away for Pollard for 11. All they talked about, Tom Brady gets it out of his hand so quick, hard to get past pressure. Yards after the catch. Let him catch it, but can you stop him before they make that move and get the six or seven extra yards? Edelman wide to the right. We've seen a special teams defense and now here on offense. Pollard makes that immediate tackle, holds it to a four-yard gain. Tom Brady coming off the six touchdown throws, tying an NFL postseason record and a Patriot playoff record, 363 yards against the Broncos. Edelman out of the backfield, gets the handle and falls for no gain. It was really interesting that last play, the Patriots shifting guys, changing their formation, and did you see the Raven defense? They just stood there and waited for the guy to come to them. So they're not going to try to run all over the field and match up, cover whoever comes your way. Again, no huddle. They've got Hernandez in the backfield with Brady, and that was effective last week as the tight end rushed it five times for 61 yards, including a 43-yarder. They set up the game's first touchdown. Brady fires, and a diving grab by Edelman who's all over the field here in the game's first six and a half minutes. Picks up eight. But Julian Edelman to the outside. Some of these short throws. Boy, you have to be pinpoint. Ed Reed, good coverage. And again, no huddle. And a first down at the 28. Kruger in for subs on that defense as Woodhead runs into the teeth of that line and right into the arms of Haloti Nata. Give him three. Again, the Patriots quickly to their feet and spread out again. That's right, and don't panic on the defensive side. Again, just stand there. Not many coverages are going to play, it looks like. Everybody that plays the Patriots, they don't communicate very well. Brady to Walker off his hands and he's intercepted. Flag is down and it's picked off by Pollard. Off the deflection, off the hands of Welker will check the flag. Well, what they're doing, they're throwing these short passes. So the Ravens defense, they play it. A double move by West Prior to the pass being intercepted. Illegal contact, number 21, defense. Five-yard penalty, automatic first down. Take the interception away for Pollard. It's called on Webb, who had two picks last week. The Houston Texans. Good reaction to what they saw the play before, Jim. Wes Welker goes outside, or Julian Edelman, they're jumping the short route, so let's fake a short route, go up the field. That's a good call. Ladarius Webb just took out his right arm and stopped Edelman from going up. And that one hook move wipes out the pick. And it's another first down for New England at the Baltimore 22. Suggs back on the field. Lined up over Matt Light. Down the field, and he had an open man. It was Gronkowski, who had three touchdown grabs last week against the Broncos. Well, everybody talks. Here's Gronkowski going down the field. Ed Reed. Oh, he goes for the run. And I say this always to everybody that plays the Patriots. Why would you go for the play-action fake 
when you know that your responsibility is covering Gronkowski down the field. A great for Ed Reed. And the Ravens, second down and 10. Back to the middle of the field. And a first down catch by Gronkowski at the 10, just outside the 10. An 11 yard gain. I think you can see, you say, well, we're gonna match up. We're gonna put our safety on the tight end. All, it's almost impossible to do that in a game because they have so many different personnel groups. They shift, they put them in motion. You don't know where they're gonna line up. One of the tight ends, Aaron Hernandez, of course, you've seen it, will line up in the backfield. They can pick up a first at the one. First down and 10. Brady with pressure, and he's decked at the 16 by Kruger. Well, the Ravens, Paul Kruger, they like him. Number 99, bottom of your screen. Oh, that's a nice move on Nate Solder. He faked him, got Nate Solder leaning forward, and once that happened, Tom Brady, lucky and a good job holding on to the football. The rookie, Solder, at right tackle. Again, getting the call today with Palmer inactive, still down with the back and foot injuries. Second and 15. Hernandez shifts over to a win on the left, and it's Welker. Gets back the loss on the previous play, and it's Ladarius Webb who holds him to a five-yard gain. Well, you can see what this Raven defense is doing. They're standing there. They're waiting for him to come their way. And, Jim, it's attacked the guy with the football. Good example there, Chuck Magano, the defensive coordinator. So the big key for the Ravens, let's out-hit the Patriots today. If you hit them hard enough, You'll get a turnover. Six completions to six different receivers. Third down and ten. From the pocket to the end zone and incomplete. Thrown to Welker and Lewis had the coverage. Well, when you get down to the goal line, I promise you, number 52. That's Ray Lewis. His job is to stay near the goal line and take away anything that comes up the middle of the defense. And this is a good job getting right underneath Wes Welker. Nowhere to throw the football. Good job. 29-yard field goal coming up. The attempt by Gostowski. Field goal is good. Gostowski, who won the last bunch matchup with an overtime field goal. Kicks this one through to complete a 13-play drive. Brady got sacked on that series, but the Pats put up three. CBSSports.com experts are breaking down this year's NFL draft. See which players your team might pick. Plus, get the latest mock drafts and more at CBSSports.com slash NFL Draft. Well, you know, Jim, you look at that last drive, the Ravens, it has to reinforce what they what to do 13 plays only 50 yards they hold them to a field goal so the plan the plan that they came in the game with hey guys this can work and not only that takes a little pressure off that ravens offense not sitting on the sideline watching new england score a touchdown and zibikowski not able to run to return the first kick of the game for this one so Baltimore's offense been stagnant through the first two drives. A 3-0 New England lead in the first quarter, the AFC title game. The NFL on CBS is sponsored by Warner Brothers Pictures Journey 2, The Mysterious Island, in theaters February 10th. And by Bud Light, the official beer sponsor of the NFL. Here we go. Third straight, Baltimore Drive, beginning at the 20. Bingo. Ricky Williams, the running back, double, double. who has the all-time Gillette Stadium single-game rushing record. Oh. But he's going to lose a pile of yardage here as Will Fork drops him back some six or seven yards. They're trying to get outside, but Vince Will Fork shifts, and now they cannot make the block. It's an outside zone run 
by the Baltimore Ravens. They'd like to get outside. They don't want to go against the, the size of this New England defense. Pretty athletic, too. That wasn't the drive starter I was looking for. This offense needs confidence. They've run it now three times on first down for negative four total yards. Second and 15, long ball, Flacco flings it over the head of the speedster Tory Smith. Well, you know, Jim, that's why it's sometimes when you come out in the field, if you're the quarterback, you need, that's what I call a drive starter. In other words, a play where the coach has a design, where it's an easy completion for you, and it can get your confidence. Joe Flacco trying to settle in. Has had a couple open receivers, hasn't pulled the trigger, felt the pressure. So once he gets that first first down, I think he'll start playing better. Five minutes to go in the first quarter, still looking for that first one. Third and 15, and he will be sacked. Vince Wilfork. And another loss of five. Well, there's two things. Let's just watch the play. You're the quarterback. Watch the receivers down the field. Watch the pocket collapsing. Who's open? Guy in the middle? No. Nobody is open, so Joe Flacco really has no choice. The choice is throw it out of bounds before you take the sack. Cook has to drop back into the end zone. They try to set up return. Edelman, 43-yard line, and backed up. Still not down. Finally stopped at the 38. Rough start so far for that Raven offense. More people watch the NFL on CBS than on any other network. Chip Nance, Bill Sims, Steve Tasker here at Gillette Stadium, New England, starting at the 40 on the first drive of the game, then the 39, and now back to the 40, winning that field position battle here in the first quarter. Suggs shifts around to the other side now, will challenge Soldier as Brady's pass is caught by Hernandez and brought down after a first down game. A game of 11. Well, it's a blitz. Here they come on the outside. And look at the protection. It is awesome by Tom Brady. Ray Lewis against Aaron Hernandez. Pretty tough matchup. On first down, Woodhead. Into the middle for a couple. You know, Jim, so much. This hurry-up offense, the pace of it. Talking to the coaches for Baltimore, that's all they worked on all week. Tyrod Taylor, the backup quarterback, they said he did it well. That's why you're seeing a defense. They're not moving around, waiting for him to come. Communication, get lined up, two big keys. Second down and eight. Over the top and intercepted. They were going for Edelman and a leaping grab by Ladarius Webb. His two interceptions what a catch. Week. What a catch by Ladarius Webb. Here comes Welker down the field. Or Edelman down the field on the scene. And Ladarius Webb looks back and is able to get that interception. Little move going down the seam, something that the Patriots love to do. They love to throw seam pass for their throws down the field to make the big plays, and Ladarius Webb, he knows that, so he turns around and makes the interception. His picks last week led to 10 points. His two picks tying a single game postseason record for the Ravens. Tying Dwayne Starks and Ed Reed. Now on first down, play action and rolling out. And a man's wide open covered. down the field. Makes the catch at the 27, it's Torrey Smith. And you can see that one unfolding. You're tapping me on the arm right away saying there's a guy wide open. I was, top of the screen, Jim. It's the play action fake and it gets the defense. A little movement, Devin McCourty. It's two deep safeties, he thinks. So where's the help? Nobody there. And Joe Flacco, good job of keeping his eyes and looking at that first receiver, which was Corey Smith. And it picks up 42. They finally break through with the play, and it's a big one. Rice, 
wrestled down by Aninkovic after three. And Joe Flacco, when he came out, we saw this last week. If you see, if you're looking at your first receiver, which is the outside receiver, anytime you run those bootlegs, what a throw. He waited a little too long to get it out there. Good job by Torrey Smith just making sure of the catch. And that's the first time they had thrown on first down. Right, whoa. Drive started. Yeah, 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 yeah. Second and seven. Rice bouncing around waiting. Give him two. Mayo is there, along with Spikes. Well, you talk about Ray Rice, Jim. We talked to him last night, and it's so important to keep him involved in the game, and you do it two ways. Hand the football to him or throw it to him. And what did Ray Rice say? 20, 25 touches is what he needs. If he gets those, he'll think, he thinks he'll make a big play or two to maybe be the difference in the game. Of course, he was telling us also last night about how loose he was, the whole team was all week long. Michael Orr, by the way, was injured on that last play. The right tackle for the Ravens, hobbling to the sideline, and we'll have a break in the action with the injury. Michael Orr getting attention now on the bench at right ankle. He got rolled up on that last play, 74. And now Ja Reed, a rookie from Central Florida, Drafted in the third round will protect Flacco's blind side. See the possession so far today. The Ravens, they drafted Ja Reed, Jim, to be their right tackle this year. But since there was no offseason, everything cut short. They went out and got Bryant McKinney to play left tackle and moved Michael Orr over to right tackle. Coming out of that injury timeout with a third and five. Set up by a long ball to Torrey Smith that gained 42 yards. From the gun, Flacco's throw, good for a first. It's Smith again, and he has the first down at the 12, a gain of 13. Uh, it's a blitz, but watch Joe Flacco. He catches it, loads up, and lets it go right on the mark. And if you give him opportunities one-on-one -on -one to the outside, he is a deadly thrower. A little hurry up by the Ravens on the offensive side. Written down by Dederick again. Gain of two. You know, Jim, if you want to go, well, the Raven fans, why'd you hold it up at the line of scrimmage? And uh, Alberto Riveron had to because the Ravens substituted. So when you substitute on the offensive side, you have to give the defense equal time to bring in their substitute. We'll see what Cam Cameron sends in here. Ball at the 10. Second down and eight. Flacco wanting to go up top, dumps it, Leach, somersaults to the seven. Nikovic with a good tackle, holds him to three. That's a good job, they're playing like a shell defense. In other words, trying not to make sure nobody gets open deep. Good job by Joe Flacco, getting rid of the football and throwing it to Vontae Leach. Will not run another play here in the quarter. A big third down to start the second. 3 0 after one New England, and you're watching the NFL on CBS. And the Ravens owner, Steve Bashotti, the second youngest NFL owner in the owner's box, visitor's owner box. Back on row three. We start the second quarter with a third and five. Flacco's got the time. Finds a man fighting for the first down yardage, and I believe he's going to be a half yard short. That's Bolden. And it looks like the spot is short. What would you do here, Phil? Well, I think John Harbaugh, what he's going to do, and what I would do right away, measure it so it gives you time to think about it. And they are going to measure it, Jim. What I'm going to do is 
decided how far this is. Now, remember last week, what was it? Fourth and one inch, they did not get it. The Texans made a goal line stand against them. Got a half a yard here. I, I tell you what I would do real quick. And if you remember now, the Ravens could challenge us if they don't like the mark. And I think the mark is going to stand. Excellent job of coming up and making the tackle. Jim, I would go up and maybe call a quarterback sneak. And if I see what I like, run it. And last week, before I could even get my thought process out, he sent out the field goal team. He sent out the field goal team. Going to bring out Billy Cundiff. Be a 20-yard field goal try to tie it. Yeah, and I think it's a good decision, of course, too. Uh, don't second-guess it at all. Tie this game up. Keep giving positive reinforcement to your football team. Cook gets it down and kind of drives it through. So they cash in with three points off the pick. The web interception, the long pass to Smith, and the field goal by Kunda. Defenses buckle down in the red zone. We've got a field goal on each side. There have been some opportunities out there. Now there have, yes. Both teams have had them. We've seen open receivers for the Ravens. Uh, and, of course, Tom Brady uh, missed a wide open Rob Gronkowski for a touchdown and also through the interception. Danny Woodhead and Matthew Slater are back to receive the kick from Billy Cundiff. of his kicks this year were touchbacks. This will be returned by Woodhead. And Woodhead scampers out to the 25. Brought down by Emmanuel Cook. Here's some of those opportunities I believe you're talking about. Well, yeah, you, you look at it in, in, in football games, especially against a good defense, an incomplete pass up the middle, good coverage, wide open. Just rush the throw, and then the seam patterns and interception by Webb. When you play the Patriots, the one thing that I'd say I'd take away first are the inside throws up the field, those seam patterns, which we just saw two of them. That's the handoff to Green Ellis, who spins ahead for 13 yards. Brought down by Ed Reed. That is so good at the quick snap. And Nate Solver comes around and gets the excellent block on Ray Lewis. And lets uh, Ben Jarvis Green Ellis get those yards. It's another carry. And again, running room is there and another first down. 11 more. He'll even sprint to the sideline. Green Ellis with two big runs. I've said many times, now the... Hurry up offense, running back behind Tom Brady. It is a high percentage of run plays in this formation. Of course, that'll slow it down. You kick the football around. No. No. Woodhead back and only a couple yards to be found. Corey Redding hits him first. Jim, you'd have to say so far, some good plays, good movement by the Patriots marching the ball a little bit in this game, but the Ravens' game plan, well thought out and well executed so far. Second and eight, reaction fake, Brady down the field, and almost caught. Hernandez. Hernandez, they had the receiver open the middle, but they pre-planned this. Usually, you see the tight end or the receiver going to the outside. That time, excellent job by Hernandez reading Pollard. Comes inside, he's open. Tom Brady just missed the throw. A third and eight. Hernandez in the backfield now. That's definitely a blitz look. And when you show your hand too early, Tom Brady's going to check out and change the play. Hanging out right at the first down marker. I'm 
everybody's moving around on the defense, but it's an excellent job. Knowing if there's going to be trouble, it's coming from this side. But the other thing to watch, watch when Tom Brady throws this to Wes Walker. There are two defenders trying to hit him as he's catching that ball. Not trying, they do hit him. Brady threw it right in there. Needed eight, got eight. That was Paul Kruger, defensive end, back there in coverage. So a first down at the Ravens, 41. But over the top, and Walker wants a flag, but does not does not get the flag he wanted. Well, listen, we've already seen that today. That if they're going to let him be aggressive and play. It's a little pick play to the outside, and I'll tell you why it's not a flag. Couldn't tell by the players, but a good job by Webb looking back for the throw. Right, That's why there's no flag throw. A second down and ten. This one's good for 20. Underneath coverage. There goes Welker first. He's covered. And it is a pinpoint throw by Tom Brady to Gronkowski. Gronkowski big. Even if you cover him, he's so big, you're not going to be able to go around him and knock the pass down. That's the 10th first down of the game for New England. 52 over by 20. But the Ravens 20. Green Ellis behind Soldier. Pops ahead and is flattened by Lewis after a gain of four. Well, let's see. You're the running back, Ben Jarvis, Green Ellis. You go down the line, and wow, you get wiped out by Ray Lewis. Ray Lewis has some pretty good bodyguards in front of him. Alodi Nata, Corey Redding. Face mask, I believe. Elberby was in there quickly, may have reached in. The Ravens team that was not flagged once last week against Houston. First time that's ever happened in Raven history. They've already had one call here that negated an interception by Pollard. Personal foul, face mask on the defense. The defense player the back of the helmet and pulled it off. Half the distance of the goal, automatic. Also, the whistle was blown once the helmet came off. Right, once the helmet comes off, the play is dead right there at that point, but it is a personal foul. It was not the back of the helmet. He grabs the face mask and pulls it, pulls it off, Jim. Boy, this is dangerous right here. As he dangerous. ducks the head and is taking right aim at an oncoming Jimmy Smith. Well, the face mask itself was dangerous the way we saw it, and of course, then trying to avoid the hit. First and goal. Ball just inside the eight. Green Ellis, helmet back one, take it off, and in to the end zone for the touchdown. That's what you do. Down inside, you try to run the ball in against this defense. They are playing pass all the way. Running behind Logan Mankins. You said it, number 70 pulling around. He gets Ellerby. Look at the blocks down the field by Nate Solder and Wes Welker. They learned the last time they were down there, we saw Ray Lewis breaking up a pass in the end zone. They said, next time down there, we'll run the football. Gostowski, good on the extra point. The game's first touchdown as Green Ellis ran for 36 yards on that drive. Had his helmet ripped off, and then he rips off the eight-yard run to the end zone. The NFL on CBS is sponsored by the Ford F-150. Available with the efficiency and power of EcoBoost. Dr. Pepper, tell the world what makes you one of a kind with the I'm a hashtag on Twitter. And by Verizon. The exclusive carrier of Galaxy Nexus by Samsung. Well, the Patriots run it on the Ravens. Officially seven yards by Green Ellis. To most of the heavy lifting on that series. A ten play drive. Second scoring drive of at least ten plays in this game. 
Gostowski now three for three on touchbacks. After the score, he taps the patch, the MHK, in honor of the late Myra Kraft. The season for the Patriots dedicated to the loving memory of the late wife of Robert Kraft there talking to his son Jonathan and others up in his box today. Steven Tyler to his right. Drew Bledsoe in there. One of the honorary captains with Bruski and Law and Troy Brown before this game. First and ten. Blanco has the pass play out to the 40 to Lee Evans, who suddenly is emerging here in the playoffs for Baltimore. Well, he is, Jim, but let's watch the touchdown. Logan Mankins, number 70, comes around, gets the good block, sets it up. Nice job by Ben Jarvis Green Ellison. You always hear about adjustments in the game. They learned the last time they were down there. If they want to play pass defense, we'll run it in there. That last one, good for 20. And Flacco has connected on his last five passes. Williams has a five-yard gain on first down. Sunday, January 29th, the NFL's best and brightest, like Aaron Rodgers and Drew Brees and Ben Roethlisberger and many more, will fill out Aloha Stadium in Honolulu for the 2012 Pro Bowl. Check your local listings. And Michael Orr is back in the lineup at right tackle for the Ravens. Shaken up on the previous series. A second and five. Look in the middle, and another catch is Bolden breaking free. Anquan Bolden has it inside the 20 and down to the 17. Well, I'd say Joe Flacco is officially in this game now. That was what they call a little skinny post. The coverage was outstanding. To the left, watch the throw by Joe Flacco. In between the corner, Arrington and the safety. And when you throw it in there that perfectly, and you throw it that hard, and nice protection. How about Michael Orr on that ankle? Still good enough to let Joe Flacco get that time to throw it down the field. He picks up 37. Flacco's got three pass plays of at least 20 yards in this first yes, half. Yes. Into the red zone for the second time, and it's Rice securing it, and taking Mayo with him, as well as Ihedibo down to the 10. And a gain of seven. This time he ran right behind Michael Orr. Uh, you said it, Michael Orr getting the block. Let's watch Vince Wilford, number 75. He can't get away from Michael Orr. And that allows Ray Rice to get in there. One of the reasons why he couldn't get away is uh, Big Michael, nothing wrong with his hands. Had a good grab of that jersey. Second and three. Rice again his way in for the first and he may be a few inches shy met just short of the first by spikes and love well you know what we're finding out jim the, the ravens they started the game out saying man we want to go outside they're too big in there and it's hard to push them around but just if you want to be physical and you want to win a game like this you say you're you're going to out hit them then you got to do it with your offensive line this drive running straight ahead and it's gone well Got a foot to go. And third down on the way. Well, this is where you call the plays. Cam Cameron. I don't know if you try to catch him by surprise here. I'd say no. You think, hey, if we don't get it, we got two downs to get a foot. Bring in two extra tight ends. Pitta and Chris Wilson, number 87. Wilson who caught his first pass of the whole season last week for a touchdown against the Texans. Third and a foot. Rice again, stacked up, tries to squirt through. May have gotten there with a second effort. Patriots won a different spot. Chung saying it was back here. Well, that was some job by Ray Rice. 
the one thing you see when you watch him run, I know he's not tall, but he even gets low for a guy his height. And that's an excellent job. The push by the Patriots defensive line. Boy, look at that. Goes right underneath. Right underneath Gerard Warren's arm. How about that? Got the first. First and goal to go. Now we talk about, can, when we laughed with Ray Rice last night, I said, man, it's fun watching you run. Can, can anybody get lower than you? <laughs> and I think the answer, once again, is no. Ray Rice, it's his birthday today. He's 25. I feel like he's been in the league about eight years. Fourth year out of Rutgers. Gets the call again. Got two. Monte Leach has a little disagreement with a couple of Patriots. Oh, you talk about Rice, though, and how enamored he's been talking to Ray Lewis. They have lockers at the Ravens facility right next to one another and he'll just absorb soak up all the stories about the old Super Bowl team back from the 2001 well that's right they got an old guy in his team that wants to go back a couple of them Ed Reed Ray Lewis and a lot of young guys Joe Flacco Ray Rice to get that opportunity 2000 Super Bowl one 2001 February down in Tampa here we go second and goal as Flacco, first option's not there, throws on the run, and he's got his man for the touchdown. It's Dennis Pitta with the catch. Well, that, was, that was the only way Joe Flacco was going to get a touchdown pass. Pitta here. Well, I might have the wrong guy. Let's watch it. As Joe Flacco goes, and everybody's covered, nowhere to throw it. He breaks out of the pocket, which is a good job by him. Pitta sees him and moves with him and comes down the line of scrimmage. That's where he came from and gets the touchdown. Kind good, of good job of moving with the quarterback, Jim. For the extra point. And he got a flag down. No, Flacco, he didn't have his first option there for him, Phil. No, it wasn't. I thought they did a good job. The initial coverage. It's Patriots defense in yards, 31st in the league. Scoring their 14th, that tells you it's hard to get it in there once you get inside that 20-yard line. Flacco and Pitta are buddies, and it was on Thanksgiving when they challenged one another to grow these Fu Manchu mustaches. The defense have 12 players on the field. The five-yard penalty will be added to the kickoff. The extra point is good. Timeout. Flacco has hit his last seven passes for 123 yards. And now a touchdown to tie this game at 10. Boy, after a, what we call the rough start, things are loosening up for the Ravens. Well, I think anytime you're a quarterback, Jim, especially a young quarterback like Joe Flacco, early in the game, it's hard to focus and see down the field. And that's why, you know, the term when I say drive starters, give him a play where he doesn't have to think too much and he can get that completion and get into the rhythm and I thought the bootleg pass, uh, the throw down the field to Torrey Smith really got him going. And kind of led the league a year ago in touchbacks. Able to generate one here. By the way, next weekend, the season premiere of the PGA Tour on CBS. Bill Nicholson heads up the field. Look at the champion, Bubba Watson. Keegan Bradley, Ernie Els, Ricky Fowler, Dustin Johnson will be there for the standout field at Torrey Pines and the Farmers Insurance Open all next weekend here on CBS. So now New England has to start a drive at the 20. And a timeout called by the Ravens. 6.03 to go in the first half. 10-10 at Gillette Stadium. You're watching the NFL on CBS. The NFL on CBS is sponsored by TD Ameritrade. And by GMC. Vote for the GMC Never Say Never moment of the year at NFL.com slash GMC. If you're wondering why the Ravens called timeout, that defense, they had only 10 men on the field. 
Yeah, Jimmy Smith, the extra defensive back, was not alert. Uh, you know, you just got to take for granted the Peach is going to come out and D an offense that's going to make you bring in an extra defensive back. Brady checks out of this. First down. Gain of 13. That's the one thing about Wes Welker in the slot coming across the field. Uh, it's like so many guys are moving on this offense. They're crossing. You get blinded by it sometimes. That's really the first big opening I've seen for a receiver underneath this Baltimore defense today. There's Green Ellis. Shaking off a hit and falling for about three. Logan Mankins come, came across again and says, I want another shot at Ray Lewis and took him down one more time. Two backs who sing the action today. Woodhead and Green Ellis both came into the league undrafted. Stephen Ridley, their rookie who played so much at the end of the year and fumbled last week, inactive for this one today. Second and seven. able to weave his way for that first down. Gates nine. Well, we talked about it too. They're going to throw short passes. We know it. And you see the Raven defense dropping back, watching and reacting. But uh, a good job by Hernandez. Good job by Wes Welker catching and getting some extra yards. Of course, those decorated tight ends, Gronkowski and Hernandez, the game's well, the touchdown by the Ravens was by their backup tight end. Here's Gronkowski. We wrote the record book this year. Just a fabulous season. He's got a first down at the Ravens 42. Well, they're having a little success running. Look at the linebackers. They come up. Look at the opening behind them. Gronkowski. So all you talk about is this pass offense. They run it on you. Now you start coming up there trying to stop it. Gronkowski wide open. First down. Baltimore side of the field. Back to Rutgers. He's pushed out of bounds by Pollard. They've got a little disagreement. It's Pollard who Welker was trying to escape back at the end of the 09 season when Pollard was playing for the Texans in a game down at Houston. And Welker ripped up his knee and then missed the playoff game, the wildcard game here against Baltimore. He was out for the coin toss and had a serious offseason of rehab to get back to where he was. Second and two, and Hernandez gets away from Ellerby. And then Jerry Williams and company, Ray Lewis, bring him down, but not until 17 yards of the game. Well, now we're seeing it. The pace of the game. They brought the tight end across a few times. They run it up inside. That time they fake it. You see another underneath receiver. This time Hernandez open. I mean, you want to play, you drop back and just going to keep reacting to Tom Brady. We've seen it too many times, Jim. You'll get picked apart. On first down, that's incomplete. Thrown toward Aaron Hernandez. Wedding, I believe, had a hand on that. Uh, I think Deflected he, it. Wasn't sure him or Arthur Jones jumped up and made Tom Brady change where he was throwing the football. No pressure on the quarterback. Hard to do. The hurry-up offense. He gets rid of it so fast. Where do you get the pass rush? Second and ten. That time he had pressure. And that was Suggs for the first time in this game. Really, Phil, getting in on Brady incomplete. Yeah, it was. And he, he did it against Nate Solder. Top of your screen. Watch the move. Up the field. Nice arm slap. Comes underneath. Tom Brady smart. Get rid of the football. Boy, nice move by Suggs. He switches from side to side. Against Nate Solder, I think he wants to try to be more powerful on the other side against Matt Light. I think he wants to try to beat him with speed. Third and ten. Suggs led the conference in sacks this year with 14. Brady lobs it for Gronkowski. Did he get the feet down? No, they say. Incomplete. It's about four times we've seen this type of play. What they're doing, they're taking the receiver in the slot or out of the backfield that time, I am Badejo. He is in great position. 
Again, ready for the second move up the field. And definitely out of bounds. Kostowski comes out for the 35-yard field goal attempt. Again, it was Kostowski who beat him the last time they played in the 2010 season on a 35-yard field goal in overtime. Good from that distance again. Patriots have the lead for the third time. 13-10 with three minutes to go. Second quarter. So Tom Brady and the Patriots going up top. Majority of that drive. Ten plays after running it down the field for a touchdown the previous series. And Gostowski has his second made field goal of the late afternoon. Coming up to Sprint Halftime Report, J.B., Dan, Shannon, Boomer, and Coach Cower. And their take on the first half. And they'll also have the announcement of the three finalists for the Walter Payton NFL Man of the Year Award coming up on the Sprint Halftime Report. Back here with our executive producers of the NFL on CBS, Sean McManus, Harold Bryan, our coordinating producer of the NFL on CBS, Lance Barrow, game directed by Mike Arnold. Been a good one here at Gillette Stadium. We'll see if the Ravens can do anything here before the half. Gostowski not giving Zipikowski a chance to run anything out. Well, here's the first five possessions for Baltimore, Phil. Yeah, it's a slow start. We talked about it, Jim, but they have really picked it up. The last two, they've got their confidence. And, you know, I kind of said it. It does. It takes a while as a quarterback to settle into games, especially one like this. And where you can see and you see clearly and once you do that you become confident and Joe Flacco has thrown a lot of nice passes here in the second quarter. This is the fourth time he's played in the regular season or postseason at Gillette. He's put up 21, 33, and 20 points. Goes underneath to Rice. Knows where he has to go to pick up the first down. That's his first catch after making 76 in the regular season, their leading receiver. They're not open down the field. It's a good job by Joe Flacco that time, finding the underneath receiver. And when you play this Ravens offense, the one thing you got to look for are those short passes to Ray Rice. When in trouble, Joe Flacco gets rid of it. Short to Ray Rice, he does the rest. First down at the 31. Anderson had pressure on the outside. Open is Smith trying to run after it. Can't get there. Kyle Love ended up knocking down Flacco. And what a job by Joe Flacco. Torrey Smith going inside and going all the way up the field. He just threw it as high and as far as he could throw it because he, needed, he didn't have time to look and see what was going on down there and knows he's going to get hit and gave Torrey Smith a chance to run underneath it. Torrey Smith just getting back to the huddle. That ends Flacco's streak of eight straight completions. Second and ten. Trying to cross him up, goes ground, only gains a yard. It's going to bring this to the two-minute warning. They'll have a third and nine coming up out of the break. New England leads it 13-10, and you're watching the NFL on CBS. Again, coming up, the Sprint Halftime Report. James Brown and the crew will be back in Studio 43 in New York. Their thoughts of the first half and a little setup to the Giants 49ers NFC Championship tilt. Big third down coming up. Remember... The Patriots get the ball to start the second half. They could have the double up here if they make a stop. Could have the ball at the end of the first half and the start of the second. And that's going to be a false start on Orr. False start, number 74, offense. Five yard penalty, third down. Well, they're going to call it, Jim. He waits too long to react. That's Dane Fletcher. Was he in the neutral zone? He, I don't think he was even in the neutral zone, so. The offensive lineman's so trained to know if they step in the neutral zone, jump. That time, Jane, Dane Fletcher did not get off sides. First offensive penalty by the Ravens in six quarters of postseason. 
Flacco, and this one stopped by the officials. And it was a timeout, what it was by New Prior England. to the ball being snapped, New England calls a timeout. This is their first, this will be a 30-second timeout. A third and 14 on the way here, Phil. they give the ball back to Brady before the oh, half, oh, or will oh, they extend the drive? Blanco zips it, and the catch is made. It's Pitta, the touchdown maker for the Ravens, with a nice grab for 15. What a grab. Good movement in the pocket by Joe Flacco. Pitta to the left. Watch the little move. And that's who he wanted to go to, and they wanted to get Dennis Pitta in this game today for that reason because he has excellent hands. On first down, the throw to the 50. It's hit again, the second-year man out of Brigham Young University. And what we're seeing, Joe Flacco throwing the football in some little tight windows. In other words, they're not wide open, but he is driving it in there with the power of his arm. Ravens have two timeouts. Second and two, in trouble, now throws it away. In the area of Pitta, over his head, Ninkovich applying the pressure. Well, pressure again, and what they're doing, this Patriots team, only three men rushing. They're just compressing the pocket while Ninkovich on the outside gets his arms around Flacco. Flacco, though, remember, six foot six. Just enough movement to give him time to throw it away. Third and two at the 50. Sent wide to the left, empty backfield. Flacco throws, and it's incomplete. Ball out. That was Ed Dixon who came in on that play for Pitta, and Dixon's had trouble holding on all year. Good point. Dropped the big one last week. It was a tight throw, and it was a safe throw, and a smart one. Down low. Oh, well, listen, I know the coaches for the Ravens. They're going to say this. you got to catch it. There's no doubt. Should have caught that one. Good job by the Ravens offense, so time took it away from the Patriots offense. Put it away to the Patriots who have two timeouts. Edelman, who was playing in the secondary on that series, lost the ball out of bounds. That actually it was Welker back there. Welker unable to field it cleanly. But it doesn't matter. It stays with New England. Flacco got his day really going when he launched this one 42 yards to Torrey Smith. Found Pitta for a touchdown. And here's Brady's day. Intercepted on that occasion by Webb. Now the one thing, and I said to Jim, the Ravens, what they did there, third and long, they got the first down. The Patriots used a timeout, field position, time on the clock, a lot of good things for the Ravens there on that drive. How about this? With a minute to go and two timeouts, New England takes a knee. I, I, I definitely understand this to a degree. But to the Baltimore Ravens, uh, it's not gonna, they call timeout, two of them. I don't know if it's going to help them, Jim. So Bill Belichick says, look, we're on the 10-yard line. Let's wait till the second half. We get the football, we'll start from there. Show from wherever we get it. A whole lot of respect for that Baltimore defense. And it's, you know, it, I, I'm not shocked by it. It's, this is playing the odds. Baltimore, you got two timeouts. I want to call one quickly here and force him to do something up there now. But that'll do it. Or maybe have put him in a position where they had to punt it out of the end zone. You Good go point. Timeout. Timeout, timeout. Timeout, yes. timeout. But they say that's enough for one half with New England leading it 13 10. We're back with the Sprint Halftime Report after this message. And a word from your local station. And again, you're watching the NFL on CBS.
back here in Foxborough, Massachusetts. The Patriots lead it 13 to 10 at halftime. They've had three trips into the red zone and come away with one touchdown and a pair of Gostowski field goals. Brady got picked by Webb. That set up the Ravens for a score, a field goal. A spirited effort by Green Ellis from seven yards out. Flacco found Pitta for the Baltimore touchdown. And it's a three-point New England lead. Second half coming up, and you're watching the NFL on CBS. England leads at 13-10, the winner to go to Indianapolis and Super Bowl 46. Let's take a look at the Droid Razor Max Play presented by Motorola. And it's been Jarvis Green Ellis took Smith with him into the end zone for the Patriots touchdown. How about a key play of that first half? What do you think, Phil? Well, a lot of them, but the one third and 14, Joe Flacco hitting Dennis Pitta. It, uh, it stopped the Patriots from getting one last drive. But the other real quick thing, the Patriots did run 39 plays in the first half. We'll see if uh, conditioning is a problem for this Ravens defense. So the Patriots have back deep Woodhead and Slater. Patriots without Chad Ochocinco inactive today. His father passed away at the end of the week. And attended funeral services yesterday in Florida. And we expect that's why he's inactive here today as Woodhead will be content with the touchback. Let's go to Steve Tasker. Well, guys, I spoke to both coaches at halftime. John Harbaugh said they still got a lot of confidence in their ability to throw the football against the Patriots. And over on the other side, Bill Belichick told me they got them a couple of times. That is, the Ravens got the Patriots a couple of times with their play-action pass, but it's still more about what the Patriots are doing than it is the Baltimore Ravens against the Patriots. So Bill Belichick and his crew still very confident, as are the Baltimore Ravens on the other side. They run up to Green Ellis. Thank you, Steve, on first down. And he fights for four. You just mentioned they ran 39 plays in the first half. Give people a little perspective as you look at the first half numbers, how extreme that might be. Well, it's not that it's that extreme as you look at the first half numbers there. Total yards, 90, 175 to 193. But, Jim, you'd like to say a normal game, 65 plays for your offense. Patriots on pace for 78. Second down throw incomplete. Throwing into the secondary in the area of Aaron Hernandez. We talked about it in the first half. That's what you really have to guard against. Not the long passes outside down the sideline. It's the long passes down the edge or the edges of the formation, the seam patterns. And so far, the Ravens have been all over them except the one where they blew the coverage Three. against Gronkowski. Second and six. Bear. A third and six. Brady in the pocket, steps up, and there he goes, firing it in there, and Gronkowski even takes the big lick and holds on. Nakamura knocked him to the ground, but it picks up 21, Phil. Well, you can see the coverage inside. Tom Brady, because of the protection, he's able to step up. Look, he, he's going to throw it, says no, he's not open. He has a chance to reload, finds a wide open receiver. And that's the longest play of the day for the Patriots. They toss it to Hernandez. And the tight end, Knights out there for about nine and a half. Something we saw last week, Hernandez running it out of the backfield five times. Little bit different this time coming out of the backfield, the quick snap, and this way he doesn't have to go in there, Jim, where all the big guys are, and he can protect himself better on those tall, sweet plays. Now sent to, uh, 11, 11, slot to the left, second and one. Brady still has it, and slides off left tackle. Exchanges words with Ray Lewis. Well, the crowd loves it. But if I was going to get in a verbal battle, I think he'd be the last guy I'd pick. Yeah. One, you know, because he's physically an imposing player. But two, 
He can talk too. Yeah, Ray telling us last night we played them enough. We know each other. We know each other pretty well. No secrets coming in here. Green Ellis. And that's another rush for seven yards brought down by Ellerby. They don't have Nata on the field right now. And you, you think the Patriots don't know that. The backup defenders for this Ravens defensive line, there is a big difference. Second and three, Green Ellis. And another first down. You know, Corey Redding inside. Terrence Cody, Haloti Nata. Here comes Nata back on. The other drive, Jim, when they scored, the first couple plays, they had those long runs. Nata was not in there. And those, they brought him in quickly, though. Fernandez with another carry. This time, just back to the line of scrimmage. Brought down by Suggs. You, know, you talk about trying to slow this fast-paced offense down. And the Ravens get a few substitutions in there. They're, their plan, as you, we've talked about a few times, they're not moving around. They're waiting. Just stand there, wait for them to come to you. But when you make the tackle, it's okay if you lay on the offensive player for a few extra seconds. Second down and ten. Anything you can do to try to slow down the hurry up. 26 picks up five. Now I think Bill Cower, what he said at halftime was so true. And you can tell this Raven defense, the communication, not making mistakes in alignment so far, but the Patriots showing that patience and sticking with that running game. Now, third down is when you play man coverage, which they've done most of the day. Can you get close enough? Can you pressure Tom Brady to get him off the field? Need to get to the 20 for a first. Brady to Hernandez. And the run after the catch picks up the first. They could have stopped him short. He broke away from Pollard for 12. Well, we saw him once again. Saw it a few times in the first half. The throw was way short of the first down. It's a blitz. Ray Lewis not quick enough to get there. But Pollard in the open field. Tough to bring down Hernandez. Out the now at the 14. Hernandez. Another first down carry. And he's brought down by Jarrett Johnson. No game. So he didn't run it at all in the first half. Talking about Aaron Hernandez three times on this first drive of the second half. Well, you know, Jim, you go in at halftime. You see what's gone in the first half. You bring out some new plays that you haven't shown them. And that's what they're doing with Hernandez. Hernandez, late father Dennis, was a running back at the University of Connecticut. Second and ten, and Brady's got Hernandez for eight more. Brought down by Lewis. There's just so much space on the inside of these formations. Watch Hernandez go down, and he does a little shake. Breaks it out. Look, there is not a defender anywhere except Ray Lewis to the inside. Third down and two. Green Ellis. He's a yard short. And it's a long yard. And they're already calling on Gostowski. Yeah, there's no doubt this is the play to make here, Jim. Scoring, it's tough. Hard to get points. So when you get this opportunity, especially when it's not a gimme fourth down or just a couple inches, like you said, long yard, you kick the field goal. Gostowski two for two today. Still gets it down, and he delivers the goods one more time for 24. Four red zone trips now for New England. Three field goals and a touchdown up by six. Another long drive by Bill O'Brien, the offensive coordinator. His offense to be the next coach at Penn State. The sad news today, the passing of Joe Paterno. Coach O'Brien heading to State College, and he offered condolences to the Penn State community in a statement issued before the game. Zimikowski. And that's Tracy White, who has a hold of him at the 22. And six minutes into this second half. And they'll 
finally settle things down. And we'll see Flacco and the Ravens on the field for the first time in the third at a moment. The NFL on CBS is sponsored by Southwest Airlines. Find our fares online only at southwest.com. This means war. Valentine's Day, only in theaters. And by Frost Brew Coors Light, the world's most refreshing beer. Aerial coverage of the AFC Championship game provided by MetLife. First snap of the second half for the Ravens. A little play action. Rolling out, and it's caught this time by Dixon, who had a big drop before the half. And this one is good for nine yards. Yeah, another drive starter, Jim. And then we were just talking in commercial. Come out throwing the football. Let Joe Flacco drive it down. Good job faking the run. All you need is a little separation on these short throws. The Patriots are without Kyle Arrington. Questionable to return with an eye injury. Was a co-leader in the league this year with seven interceptions. Antoine Moulton is out there. As Rice has the first down. Tiptoes out. He is bumped out by Sterling Moore and a big block by Vontae Leach. You said it right, Vontae Leach. Watch 44. Follow him. The football usually comes right behind him. And Ray Rice says when we're in a two-back protected football, but we're in a two-back offense, he knows how to space it with Vontae Leach. In other words, give him time to make his block. Don't get too close so you can make the move and get those yards. Picks up 12, longest run of the day. There is Antoine Molden, who might be in on a play against Antoine Bolden. Not to confuse anyone today, first and 10. And Rice, who had only 21 yards in that first half, now has 12 backed up by four more. And again, it was some start back here a couple of years ago. 83 yards on the first play of the game. The longest opening play touchdown in postseason history in the NFL. Well, you know, Jim, you're right. Ray Rice has had so many big runs in big games. Against Houston, the first time I've seen a, a big game in a long time where he didn't rip off one for about 40 or 50 yards. As six, six times this year, Rice has had rushes over 50 yards. And I tell you, it's starting to get extra intense out there as Spikes is knocked down. Well, well he's knocked down. These players are getting smart. It's like watching a soccer match. They get touched, they fall down trying to draw the flag. False start. Number 73, offense. Five-yard penalty, second down. Marshall Yanda, the pro bowler. Oh, that's what happened on the outside. His branded spikes hit Marshall Yanda. Or hopping out of that huddle like that ankle's not bothering him as it did in the first half. Second and 11. Blanco able to avoid the sack and misfires on the throw to Rice. That was Mark Anderson around the quarterback. Mark Anderson, number 95, bottom of your screen. Going against Brian McKinney, just the speed, the crowd noise. Anticipating the snap, timed it perfectly. Mark Anderson, Brandon Spikes in the middle, and now the other side, Nikovich. Big change in his defense. When you look at him, the last seven, eight quarters played much better than they did during the season. Third and 11. At the time to throw. And it's caught on the sideline by Lee Evans, who's almost matched his entire season total. That's three catches today after four in the regular season. Uh, top of your screen, watch this. Joe Flacco hangs in there, and I'll tell you what, guys. Jim, it's a dart. He, that's what he does best. Give him more opportunities to get deep, 
take his time and set up and drive it down the field. Boomer Sison, you had to like that one. That's, when you have tight windows, you have to really step into it and let it go. From the 47 of the Patriots, it's Rice. Trying to get into a sprint, picks up four. John Harbaugh's fourth year, the only coach to ever win a playoff game each of his first four years. And man, did he come in last night with a declaration to us right away. Yeah, right to you. Hey, we're going to win this game. <laughs> you didn't you, you didn't dispute that, that's for sure. You don't hear that every week. No, you don't. He said two things. We're going to play our game, and we'll see if they're good enough to beat us. So they're very confident, of course, coming in today. Second down and six. Blacko goes underneath and another drop. It's Leach. Of course, what a day for the Harbaugh family with his younger brother, Jim. 15 months younger, getting set for the NFC Championship matchup against the Giants later today. What a day. Jack Harbaugh and his wife, they'll be home drinking Pepto-Bismol all day. Yeah, right. They're home in the Milwaukee area. Yeah, they got to be nervous about what's going on. Well, they just converted a while ago, a moment ago, a third and 11. This is third and six. from the heat. Rolls and he's got another conversion. Big one. Hit a holes on. It was Molden who knocked them back after an eight-yard gain and a first. He yelled on the sideline. He wants a personal foul because they're saying he couldn't protect himself. But yes, he caught the football, held it for quite a while, a couple more steps, so there could be no illegal hits after this. But a good job, Joe Flacco. The pocket collapsed a little bit. His movement, once again, prolongs his drive. Ricky Williams comes in. Fake to him. Blackwell running away from Kyle Love. And Nikovic has the angle on him, and the quarterback's out after a four-yard run. Some serious hitting out here between these two. Just listen to this last one. Yeah, he was. Uh, John Harbaugh won the foul. We talked about it. Clean hit. Second and six. Ricky Williams moves it inside the 30. Gain of three. Third and short on the way. Here's Ricky Williams, who just recently went over 10,000 career yards, trying to get to a Super Bowl. Well, he's been a good addition to the football team, Jim, a different style runner from Ray Rice. So when he goes in there, when you're the backup running back, man, it's like get your chance and run and try to get that extra yard by delivering the punishment. Third down and three. They've hit five of the last seven. Third down occasions. Here's the blitz. Pass caught by Smith. Great job spinning away inside the 20. Smith to the 10. And tries to reach for the ball on. No signal yet. Touchdown. Broke away from Sterling Moore. And takes it to 29 yards for the touchdown. And the Ravens are an extra point away from the lead. Patriots this time tired of seeing the Joe Flacco throw the football on third down. They blitz. They have the perfect play on. The quick screen outside. Put the pressure on the defense to make the tackle one-on-one -on -one in the open field. And Sterling Moore not able to do it. He might have stepped out at about the three. Well, if he doesn't step out, football definitely crosses inside for the touchdown. Every touchdown has to be verified, and this one will get the close-up examination. It really is fractions here. It's so close. The heel just inside the four. Can't tell if it's down. You think, okay, that might be, but it's so close. Now look at this shot of it. Look at the bottom of the screen. Can you see a little green turf? 
from his heel to the white? Jim, my answer is it's so close. How could you change the call on the field? Look at the effort by Torrey Smith to reach across. So many good things on that play. The ruling on the field stands. It is a touchdown as well. So the effort by the rookie out of Maryland. What a drive by the Ravens. After a 5 minute and 54 second New England drive, they answer back with a touchdown drive of almost five and a half minutes. That's Torrey Smith, who is the number three rookie receiver by yardage. Behind A.J. Green and Julio Jones. And the Ravens have their first lead of the game. 17-16 Baltimore. 3.38 to go in the third. The NFL on CBS is sponsored by the versatile all-new CRV. Smarter thinking from Honda. And by the Droid Razor Max by Motorola. The all-day, all-night, longest-lasting 4G smartphone. 17-16. Baltimore Ravens with the lead for the first time. Well, they got what they wanted. Here we are, three minutes and change to go in the third quarter. You got a lead. Your offense is playing pretty solid football. I think that's uh, safe to say. Gave the defense a rest too, Jim, on that last drive. Flacco now has thrown two touchdowns. No interceptions. Woodhead comes out from four yards deep. Finds a little crease, balls out. Ball still out and is recovered by the Ravens. It looks like Emmanuel Cooks on the bottom of that pile. It's going back to Baltimore. Woodhead coughs it up. You're looking at it saying, hey, they're going to get good field position here. Good return by Danny Woodhead. Look at the football, Jim, as it bounced around. Patriots had two or three chances, it looked like, watching it live to get the recovery. That's Laquan Williams who stripped it. Yeah, the wide receiver. Coming from behind, across the field, the speed and the force. Look, the, he's holding the football perfectly, but the force and the speed is so much. No choice but the fumble. It was Emmanuel Cook on the recovery at the 28 and Rice meets Mayo after a gain of three Jim look at Laquan Williams kept hustling came from way outside cut behind to chase when you're a wide receiver running that fast you could cause a fumble another rookie out of Maryland he was a Terrapin teammate with Torrey Smith and those two Terps make back-to-back -back huge plays. Second down and seven. Greco thought about going to the end zone. Now takes off with it. He'll have the first down. And a whole lot more at the ten. Yeah, let's look at what happened that time. They're trying to go down the field. Here's the route. Watch the double coverage on the outside. So there's nowhere for Joe Flacco to throw the football. The defense has everybody covered, but once again, his movement today has been a big, I think it's been a big part of the game, and the, the fact that the Ravens have a 17-16 lead. His movement for the touchdown, his movement to keep the last drive going, and this one too. Flacco's longest ever postseason run. Went for 15. First and goal, he fakes, he looks to the end zone, and throws, and it's incomplete. How about that? It goes back to Chris Wilson, who did not have a catch all regular season, then had the opening touchdown of the game last week against Houston. Well, he's not going to like what he sees when the coach is telling. He rolled out to the left that time. The fullback, Vontae Leach, uncovered by the defense. He would have walked into the end zone for the touchdown. Watch the fullback. He goes across. What a move. Nobody there to get him. But Joe Flacco did the right thing, I guess. 
looking down the field for his first read. McCourty on the coverage. They can pick up the first inside the one. Second and ten, and Rice. And that play stopped after three. Gerard Warren on the bottom of the pile. This is the 35th consecutive drive by the Ravens without a giveaway. You know, it's big stuff. You know, it really is, Jim. Being very careful with the football. They were early, stymied their offense. But let's think about it now. You know, Joe Flacco, four touchdowns, no interceptions in the playoffs. They have him fumbled. And you got a good defense that gives you a good chance to win games. Big third down play here. Third and eight. <laughs> Flacco under heavy pressure and throws it away. He had Ebo and Ninkovich were in on him. Well, if you want to win a game. And they spot the football back at the 21. Because, Jim, I think he's down. And if he's not, they're going to throw a flag anyway. Here comes the head of bow. Time to blitz perfectly. The knee right with the right knee. So it was down. So it'll make it a longer field goal. Try a little loss of 12. It'll make it 39 yards for Cundiff. So he had it, Bo and Ninkovich split the sack. Good job by Cook getting it down, and the kick hooks through. So off of the Woodhead fumble. The Ravens have now put up 10 points in the last 2 minutes and 48 seconds. Good job by Cook getting it down. And the Ravens increase the lead to 20 to 16. And the Ravens today with two takeaways, both leading to Billy Cundiff field goals. And again, they haven't turned it over. Well, he missed a great opportunity, no doubt. We shot it, we showed it. Monte Leach. It's always easy after the fact, but. Got to take advantage of every opportunity in a championship game. Undaunted by the fumble on the previous return, comes out again. Making up for it here a bit, up to the 37th. Uh, the Ravens 31st in the league in covering kick. Zibikowski ends it after a 41-yard return, and again, the NFL's best and brightest will be at Aloha Stadium in Honolulu for the 2012 Pro Bowl. Check your local listings. What will give? Will it be the Patriots' five on offense? Five starters on the AFC side. They're going against four Raven defenders who will be AFC starters. But, of course, go to the Super Bowl. You're heading to Indianapolis. Well, the right. Good disguise by the defense. Last second, come with the blitz. And he throws it. He's got Holding on to him at the 40. Went right over the outstretched arms of Danell Ellerby. And Gronkowski is limping. It's a check by Tom Brady. When they say when they see it's going to be single coverage, safety in the middle, that time it's Pollard. They love to throw the seams. That's what he checked to. Oh man, and you can see Rob Gronkowski, that oh left ankle. It's just been really indestructible this season, Gronkowski. That was a good throw. That's what the, you know, when the first half, Boomer Esiason said, Tom Brady drive the football. That time he did. Gronkowski made the adjustment to catch it. My gosh, it's Pollard again as Gronkowski goes to the sidelines. I say Pollard again because when Pollard was a member of the Kansas City Chiefs in 08, he was the one who hit Brady. Brady ripped up a knee, was gone after just one quarter in game one of that NFL season and it was Pollard again who Welker was trying to escape now Pollard was a member of the Texans and Welker blew out a knee and now here he is facing him as a member of the Ravens and in on that tackle with Gronkowski yeah you know then saying all that too Jim uh, we're not insinuate by no means no. clean plays first down Looks like the Ravens jumped, pass down the field, picked off by Kerry Williams. We'll check the flag as he falls down at the 14.
offside defense, defensive end, five yard penalty, still first down. Gronkowski is going in. Well, one good sign, he's walking. Walking pretty fast, too. Last week at the end of the game, Ed Reed injured an ankle and he walked it off. It looked like for a moment there, no way he'd be playing in this game. But he told us last night he was close to 100%. Ten seconds to go in the third quarter. First and five. And Rucker gives the Patriots a first down to end the quarter. Gain of nine. Ravens lead at 20 to 16, going to the fourth. We're back after this message and a word from your local station. Fifteen minutes to Indianapolis, unless, of course, we have a little overtime here, as we did the last time they played here in October of 2010. Jim Nance and Phil Sims, along with Steve Tasker, as Ellerby was hurt on the same play that took Gronkowski to the locker room. Ellerby had him in as well. First down, New England. Draw, Green Ellis. Dives ahead for three. You know, Jimmy, look at this right now. You got the New England offense against the streets of this Ravens, the defense. The Ravens, it's it's gone exactly how they hoped. They have held this offense to three field goals once they get down inside. And Brady steps aside to buy some time and falls down on the hit and the incompletion. It was Suggs and Johnson. Even though Tom Brady could be in the pocket, but once you move outside the pocket, it is broken. So this move here, now as long as he throws the football, gets it past the line of scrimmage, or near a receiver, it's okay. Good coverage down the field. Ravens all over what Tom Brady was trying to throw to. Of course, this is the end of the field. This is where Gronkowski has always been such a threat. Roger. Third and seven. First down at the 15, the grab by Welker. Well, they've done this so many times. When you're a passing offense, this stuff is routine. And it's a good throw by Tom Brady, being careful, throws it low. And Wes Welker slides and well, it makes it look easy because he's done it about a thousand times over the last four or five years. A gain of eight, down to the 15. Hernandez. Twist and turns to the 10. This is where the Ravens have been so tough. Number one in the league red zone defense, giving up touchdowns only 38% of the time. Allowed one today in four trips so far. This is the fifth. Yeah, that New England offense. Woodhead. Woodhead has a first down at the four. Just getting ready to say, Jim, well, the one time they scored, remember, it was a run. The Ravens good at stopping passes down here because most of the time they're in a zone, so everybody's looking back at the quarterback. They can do that because they have very good run players on the defensive side. First and goal to go. What? Good head again. Good head. Not across. About a yard out. Well, showing the patience. They're doing it inside. Nate Solar gets a good block on Terrell Suggs. Conley, the center, actually gets Haloli Natai out. And just short of the touchdown. Ion Badejo and Pollard were the two who pushed him back. And it's a second and goal, a yard away from regaining the lead. Now be alert for the quarterback sneak. Touchdown. Like clockwork. Quarterback sneak. Quick snap. 
and Tom Brady reads the defensive front. So he sees, here's the gap, and watch, he goes outside, and just enough to get it into the end zone. This will have to be confirmed, Jim, was his knee down before he got into the end zone. Matt Light sealed that side right away. And then it was Webb and Lewis over there. Watch the knee. There's the knee down. Right now. It looks like a, in a quick look. Sometimes I guess too quick. Looks like he's a few inches short, though, when that knee hits. A lot of bodies in the way. Boy, that is close. Come on, Eagle Eye. Yeah, that's a good knee, shot. There you go. Knees the knee. down, that's it. You can see the knee down. And looks like a couple of inches shy. It's Lewis who came in and twisted the helmet. The knee is down. Yeah, that's a good shot. Well, that's a long way to go on a quarterback sneak, though, Jim. I mean, you know, we, you, know, you and I, we beat it to death talking about him. But when he goes down, here's the knee. Can you see it underneath? That's a really clear shot that he's absolutely short. And if it's overturned, if the touchdown, I should say, is... Overturned it would be a third and goal. So you know it's one of the reasons why they run so many quarterback sneak the Patriots. Because you we talk about it all the time. In the league now, when it's one yard, a half a yard, or a foot or whatever, when you're near the goal line, it, it's it can be tough. It can be dangerous what you do. You hand it off, get hit in the backfield. Alberto Reveron. Ruling on the field will be reversed. The runner's knee was down prior to the ball crossing the goal line. The ball will be spotted on the half yard line. It will be third down. Riveron makes the right call. It'll be third and inches. Third and goal, just inches away. They may run that sneak again. Well, of course, if Tom Brady gets under the center, which he probably will no matter what they do, you always have to be alert for them. Make the Patriots, the defense, put all your big guys over the center in the guards and make them go off tackle to score. Baltimore goes heavy on that defensive front with Arthur Jones and Corey Redding coming in. Lusaka polite into the backfield for New England, a fullback. Okay, Gronkowski's, Gronkowski's back out. Third and goal. Green Ellis, Matt, they say short. Ray Lewis and others in on the stop. They've been on tackle, Jim. They got everybody bunched inside the penetration. Look at the linebackers. They're all free to come up and make the hit, and that is absolutely short. I do like the car. I would go for it here on fourth down, of course. They this are. Course. McLean and Lewis made that play. Be alert for the quick snap. Fourth and goal. Brady up and over and touchdown, New England. When you're this close to the goal line, when you run the sneak, you can do the reach out with the football. And what a job by Tom Brady. And it gets turned over. Stick the football out, then try to protect yourself. Now, this is out in the open field. You wouldn't want to try this. But since the play is over, once he gets the tip of that football on the goal line, it's worth the risk. Big time spike on the back end of it. Brady, who broke the plane. Hasn't thrown a touchdown, but now he's run for one. His first postseason rush touchdown since 04. And New England is back in front of the fourth.
More people watch the NFL on CBS than on any other network. Tom Brady has just put New England back in front and get NFL game rewind and relive every game of the regular season and playoffs online and in HD. Sign up today. Special postseason offers at NFL.com slash game rewind slash CBS. Another 11 play drive. I'll say this. Tom Brady's probably the best quarterback sneaker in the NFL. Now you've said that before. Yeah, just so many options. And Gostowski with the big leg again forcing another touchback. Watch Ray Lewis hit Tom Brady on this sneak. Bam. Oh, bends his legs back over. Ray Lewis is about four or five yards deep. He was thinking maybe if they run off tackle, I can run in there and make the play. Pretty good spike for the football, too. He's serious. It's almost Gronkowski-like. 11-29 left in this one. Got to stay aggressive if the Baltimore Ravens. <laughs> Rolling out, looking no one open, and Flacco will take the five yards. We have the exact same score as the final the last time they met with New England beating them on that occasion again 23-20. I like what they're doing to keep the tight end in. They're trying to go for a big play here. Nobody open down the field. Good job by Flacco running the football. Kyle Arrington has come back out. He's missed a lot of action today with an eye injury, but he returns. Second and five. And Ricky Williams has the first down carry. Picks up nine out to the 34. Follow the fullback. He's just not in the backfield every time now. Vontae Leach on the outside. Gets a good lead block. And Michael Orr, nice block too. Allows Ricky Williams to get inside. Ricky Williams' first postseason appearance since the 2008 season when he was with the Dolphins and they lost to Harbaugh and Flacco in the wild card game. There's Arrington who's returned. They're in a shield now. First and ten, Flacco. There's underneath and Leach. Hit by McCourty after a play for six. Now these short passes, they're open for a reason. Because how many times have we seen Joe Flacco make throws down the field today? So if you're the uh, Patriots defense, you got to be a little nervous. I mean, how many times do we have to see this guy's got a big arm, and if you give him a window, he's going to take advantage of it. So they're double-teaming the wide receivers. The inside guys, that time Vontae Leach, wide open. his way for a first down it appears it's just another big play it is it looked like it could have been a loss yeah you know you say come on it's not a big play yet yeah, it is because here's why you're in it's instead of third and ten or third and nine now you're in a third and very short well they give him the first down mark anderson had him had a shot at him anyway and then he collides with mccordy and drives on enough for a first ricky williams shoot he wants to he knows his role. We talked about it. That's what he does. He wants to get a chance at the Super Bowl, that's for sure. Rice has come in for him. Yeah. And here's the second leading rusher in the league this year, squirting out to the 50. And Joe Flacco doesn't look too rattled here as we're in some serious pressure time. That was the word that was used this week by his teammate, Ed Reed. And what was Joe Flacco's response? And he goes, you could say whatever you want, but he goes, rattled? What are you, rattled? Like, of course he wasn't rattled. He was under some pressure, getting hit. Guys weren't open sometimes. So the only time I've been rattled recently was when I was waiting for his, my bride to walk down the aisle back on June 25th. That gets a lot of men nervous. When they married David. <laughs> Second down and five, and Rice again able to fight off the ankle tackle and pick up six for a first down. I'll tell you what, now, you talking about making adjustments, we talk about little things. They have changed this running attack. 
Again, Vontae Leach up inside. Wow, what a block by Vontae Leach. Hits Brandon Spikes, who is truly about the size of a defensive lineman. I think Dixon and Orr were also doing their part. And again, another first down. Now on to the New England side, mid-fourth quarter. Going on first down, and intercepted by Spikes. Brandon Spikes with the interception, and the Ravens' first giveaway of the postseason. It's a huge one at 7.22 to go. Spikes, who had a fumble recovery last week, now has the interception and the 20-yard run back. The NFL on CBS is sponsored by IBM. Let's build a smarter planet. Visit IBM.com slash smarter planet. State Farm for auto, home, life, and banking. Get to a better state. And by Universal Pictures Safe House, starring Denzel Washington and Ryan Reynolds in theaters February 10th. New England takes over at the 50 off the interception by Brandon Spikes. Yeah, what a play by Brandon Spikes. Just got knocked over. And then what a job turning, finding the football, Brandon, making the interception. Wait, wait, wait. Brady coming out throwing, wanting to go long. Airs it out down the field and almost intercepted right back. In fact, it was deflected. The Ravens say they have it. It's Jimmy Smith with the football. Jimmy Smith out to the 35, steps out at the 37. It was Pollard who tipped it, and I don't think it ever hit the ground. That was some play. They're trying to, of course, go for the touchdown. Slater going down the middle between a double coverage. Oh, and it is intercepted. It is. What a play, tipping it. Pollard tips it over to the rookie, Jimmy Smith, as they... As Brady was trying to find Matthew Slater, we saw this in practice on Friday. Slater caught one ball all year. It was a deep ball, game one against the Dolphins. Well, he has the speed to get down there. What's really impressive about it, Jim, the Ravens were ready. They were fundamentally sound. They didn't bite up thinking it's a run. So they were back there in position and made the play. The rookie from Colorado gets the football right double, back. Double, double. An exchange of interceptions, and the Ravens have Rice galloping for seven. What a change of events here. Last week, the Jets' LT was making news on the show. This week, the original LT, your old teammate Lawrence Taylor, will be sitting down with you and JP. Chris and Warren in the studio on Inside the NFL Wednesday on Showtime. Second down and three. I know it's not easy, but you got to be aggressive as a quarterback, even in a situation like this, after you've thrown the interception. Twice again, he's a yard shy of a first. And it spikes in on the tackle along with Will Fork. And Rice is hobbling and signaling he needs to come out. Ricky Williams will come out, come in. He knows how to pick up a tough yard. Rice. Rice in pain and acting as though he's uh, concerned it might be something serious. We'll see. Third and one. They're going to throw for it. They have it. First down catch made by Dixon. Dixon who had been the target on the interception ball. Fighting and fighting. And all the way to the 36, a gain of 16. Well, they've been in a few situations where they've lined up with those tight ends together. So they must have seen, hey, we've run it enough times. Let's throw it out. Both both tight ends that time, Dennis Pitta, uncovered out in the flat. Good call by Cam Cameron. And this is what you do. You tackle, you hold the guy up, then everybody else come in and try to rip it, rip it away from the, the runner. Good job. Holding on to it. Yep. Again, Williams the running back. First down, New England, 37. Looking. Nice for seven more. 
Down to the 30. The biggest single rushing performance in Gillette Stadium history was by Ricky Williams. 185 yards back in 2002. And now Ray Rice is back onto the field. Well, Ricky Williams, 11 years in the NFL, played a year up in Canada. Set out, I think, a year too, Jim. But still has the speed and power to be an excellent backup running back. New England, very good success just running right at Baltimore having success running at this New England defense. Second down and three. Rice missed two snaps. And a flag. And a false start by the Ravens. False start. Number 84, offense. Five-yard penalty. Second down. You're talking about them running the football. 89 yards on the ground in this half. And Dixon flinched. It cost him five. Let's watch him. 84. Oh, yeah. That's easy to see. You're the quarterback here and the play caller, Cam Cameron. You're on the edge of field goal range. What breeze there is, is behind the Ravens. Second and eight. Nice. It's within three of the first. Picks up the five that was lost on the flag. Well, when you watch the running backs of the Ravens right now, and the blocking by the offensive line, they are making every decision perfectly. Let's watch it. You're running behind. Watch Ray Rice say, okay, follow the fullback, makes it, and then he cuts back and allows Ben Grubbs, the left guard, to still get his block. They get that extra two yards. Fail to pick up anything here. It would be about a 48-yarder. Third down and three. Back, back, back. And they draw. Get stuffed. It's Wilfork backing him up to the 34, making this a 50-plus yarder. Anderson in on it also. The running back is deeper than Joe Flacco, Vince Wilfork. It must have been some miscommunication up front. You know, Jim, I was watching them when they were warming up, and Cundiff kicking the other way had trouble making 53 yarders. Didn't make them. They're bypassing 51, which was a season-long fourth and six, and they're going for it. What a call. Timeout signal by the Ravens. Looked like a whole lot of discussion there. And they decide they got to talk it over first. 2.53 to play. This before the timeout. And Cameron comes in. Harbaugh says, hold on a minute, guys. I'm calling a timeout. And they're still going for it. Going for it on fourth and six, bypassing the chance to tie it with a 51-yarder. Come to one of six on the year from 50 and beyond. Are we going to blitz him? What a decision. Will it pay off? Flacco in trouble. Brings it down the field, and it's incomplete. He had Wilford again all over him. Patriots take over on downs at the 33. The NFL on CBS is sponsored by the all-new Volkswagen Passat, 2012 Motor Trend Car of the Year. And by Subway. Start the year right with egg white morning melts. What a game by Vince Wilfork. This Patriots defense maligned all year. Makes the stop. Giving the ball back to Brady and company out of the gun. And Branch on the ground with the catch at the 40 and a gain of seven. What happened here on fourth and six? Well, Jim, Bill Belichick, one thing he's going to do, he's going to double your inside receivers. And you look to the top of your screen in the slot, Dennis Pitta, there's two defensive backs on him. The other side, Anquan Bolden. As he goes down the field, he was double covered too. They said, if you want to get the first down, you've got to throw it to the outside. But the play was called for the two inside receivers. They're going to have to snap it again. Just a second off here right before the two-minute warning. Second down and three. Wait, 20, wait! And it's Green Ellis. And he's going to lose a yard. Green Ellis, who has never 
fumbled in his NFL career. Loses one. 156 to play. Yes. Out of the two-minute warning and third and four here, Get Phil. Out. Yeah, this is the game, Jim. Baltimore has to stop. You must play tight man-to-man -man coverage, and I would blitz too. Complete. It was Ed Reed. Ed Reed denying Hernandez, and the Ravens will get the football back. Boy, you're right. Ed Reed did a good job. Played the situation to the right of your to the screen. Undercuts Hernandez and knocks the football down. What a play! Ravens will get it back, and with two timeouts, Mesco will take the snap from Danny Aiken. Webb, the returner, catches it on the shoulder and is only able to crawl out to the 21 with Sergio Brown slamming the ground. A 44-yard punt. Coming up the Subway postgame show, we'll have the presentation of the Lamar Hunt Trophy to the AFC champions. Plus, J.B. Dan, Shannon Boomer, and Coach Cower break down. This remarkable game from Gillette Stadium coming up on the Subway Post Game Show. Well, this is all you could hope for, Jim, in a situation like this. A minute 44 and still two timeouts. The big thing, no holding calls and Joe Flacco, no matter what, you cannot get sacked in this situation. Five minutes, five minutes. the wide snap, throws it down the way, and incomplete. Tended for Bolden, that was Edelman on the coverage. Well, you watch, you think, man, a wide receiver on playing defensive back, but when we watch Julian Edelman, he is tough enough, got good hands and the feet where he can get up and play bump and run coverage on these wide receivers in the toughest, toughest position on defense, the inside receiver been a resilient Ravens team all year. This situation reminds you so much of the game, the comeback win at Heinz Field against Pittsburgh this season. Driving down the field and winning it with seconds to go. See what they do here. Hit out. Losing his footing. Did not get out of bounds. He's got a third and five on the way. And again, it was Edelman on the coverage. Bolden with the catch. It was, but Joe Flacco stepping up in between everything. Watch the pocket. This takes a while. And he, the big thing about stepping up, he gave himself a window to throw the football to number 81 against Edelman. Anquan Bolden once again to the sideline. Same kind of play they ran on first down. Bolden, who was in the Super Bowl a couple of years ago with Arizona. Trying to work oh, on a no, part time defensive back. First down and across the middle and incomplete. Broken up by Mayo, intended for Rice. Well, this New England front, they don't care about any run game. They are just attacking the offensive line. Good protection that time. Joe Flacco, when he sees, when you saw that play, the outside receivers, when they're one on one, the corners for the Patriots are playing safe. They're going to let him throw at 8 or 10 yards on the outside. Need a little more than 25 yards to get in the field goal range. With a minute and five remaining. <laughs> Second and ten, and Flacco has Bolden with a diving grab. Where did they spot it? The timeout signal here by the Ravens. Good timeout. I'm going to see where they spot that football. Looks like it's going to be a little bit short. It's going to be third and one. New England had the perfect defense on, looking for the inside throw. Coming up again, the Subway Post Game Show will be presenting the Lamar Hunt Trophy to the AFC champions.
And that ceremony will either take place on the field here at Gillette Stadium in front of the home crowd or in the Ravens locker room. JB Dan Shannon Boomer, Coach Cower will have the complete wrap up from the studio on the Subway post game show. You know, for Joe Flacco, though, this, this New England defense, they're showing you before the snap what they're going to do. Ravens have one timeout left, having just used one here, and they need a yard for the first. Well, Ray Rice is deep. over there by Pitta to help free him for 29. You said it. I'm watching it. And the pocket's collapsing again. And Joe Flacco went from the right side to the left side to find his outlet. That was one of the big keys for him today. I never even said it. If the first guy is covered, make sure you can find the third and fourth receiver. That time, he did it. First down with 51 seconds. Out of bounds. It was Edelman who stripped it inside of two minutes. It just goes back to where he fumbled it. Or any time, not just inside of two minutes. But what a throw to the sideline once again by Joe Flacco. A second and one. That picked up nine. And now, you know, Jim, you hand it to Ray Rice. Seem to be picking on Julian Edelman in this situation. Ooh. Second and one. Flacco to the end zone. And it's knocked out at the last minute. It was Sterling Moore who took it away from Torrey Smith. Boy, caught a lot of people off course. It was Evans this time. What a throw by Flacco. Gets it in there. The defender, Sterling Moore, never able to turn around and that was an incomplete pass look at this right here sterling moore was on the practice squad this year for the raiders Come on, coming on late in the year third and one with 22 seconds flacco looking looking throws it and knocked down again it's moore who makes the play and with 15 seconds left Fourth down coming up. And they're sending out Cundiff and crew for what will be about a 32-yarder. You know, Jim, I'm watching it going, boy, these, I wouldn't even take the chance of making this throw. He'd have to be wide open before I'd let it go. Here comes Billy Cundiff to tie this game and in all likelihood send it to overtime. The last two years, 16 of 16 in the fourth quarter on field goals. 32 yards to tie it. And the kick, look out! Look out! It's no good! It's no good! Hold by Cook, trying to spin it around. Did not quite get the laces all the way, but just a 32-yarder. And Cundiff, a Pro Bowl kicker a year ago. Wide left from 32. Well, the Ravens, a couple good plays at the end, Jim. You think they're going to run the draw, get the first down, use their timeout. They go for the quick score. Not able to make the catch. And the Patriots take the knee and will now take the journey to Indianapolis. They're heading to Super Bowl 46.
the franchise heading to a seventh Super Bowl. Tom Brady will be starting a Super Bowl game for the fifth time in his remarkable career, which will tie John Elway for the most starts by any quarterback. He has just tied Joe Montana, his boyhood idol, with a 16th playoff win. Did you see anything here with the kick, Phil? No, Jim, the hold was good enough. It's just the one person that can feel the pressure in, in football because it's a spontaneous sport. The place kicker, he has to go out there and think about it. Utter disbelief. You know, what a drive, even the chance to win the game by the Ravens. The throw, so close, Sterling Moore knocking it out. Lee Evans looked like he was going to have the catch. And again, this rookie from SMU who was just undrafted, was a practice squad player through September with the Raiders, makes a huge save to help strip it. Robert Kraft, a hug with Ted Bruschi, one of his favorite all-time Patriots. He was there for three Super Bowl wins. What a game by that man, Will Fork. Well, Phil, 23-20 final, just as it was when they met a year ago here. Well, it was a tremendous game. Give the Ravens a lot of credit. 23-20, the final coming up next to the Subway Post Game Show. You've been watching the NFL on CBS.